Johnny Fontana, Real World NF Scorpio, back with another video. Today's going to be a question and answer, right? With regards to how to find the energies of a city. It was um, an email by, I guess, a subscriber, or I'm not sure. But again, I don't check my comments, and there is a reason why. I'll make a video on that again. But the person wanted to know how they can go about finding missions of the city, right? But before I actually get into that, you need to know the, the reason why, okay? Um, again, it's not for everyone, okay? This is why I don't make videos for sensors or for TI heavy folks, okay? Because again, we're just on different wavelengths and I'll make a video on that as well. NFs, okay, the feelers, are usually good with energies, understanding dynamics around them, okay? So in order for you to really drill in on the local population and the interactions, you know, at any place, whether it be at a store, whether it be at your job, school, um, shopping, even just getting gas, okay? It all comes from the top. And remember, right? us humans are easily conf um, conformed, okay? We, we, we easily conform to whatever it is that's happening. That's why when you look around the neighborhoods, right, you have cookie-cutter homes, you have everything is um, uniform, okay? Because that's this is how we are. We are built for uniformity, or at least we've been conditioned over the past century or so for uniformity, okay? Um, not everyone abides by that, but generally speaking, so again, you can find patterns based on the norms, the cultural um, expressions that people, um, you know, uh, experience throughout their daily routines. So it's, you have to understand a bigger, 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 bigger point of view, understanding energy is the mission of the city and then from there drill down. Okay, and then you start to make uh, connections. Oh, okay, this is what's happening. This is why this is happening, right? So, I decided that today was going to be my first day to venture out. Okay, I had class all week. I sort of stayed um, in a hotel room, um, and I decided, okay, let's go to the mall. And on my way to the to the mall, there was an observation that I made which kind of bothers me. But again, it's going to be one of those things where I may not find the answer immediately. I like to do drives, right? I like to visit homes. Uh, I like to get a feel for how people are living, the kind of homes that, that there are and so forth and so on. It just helps me, okay? Because it helps me connect, connect, connect dots. And one of the ob observations that I made was that along my route to well i was in stone or, or uh, stone oak that the majority of the homes or the communities are gated so i wanted to basically drive through you know look at the homes see how everyone lives you know find out just to get a feel for the texture and i've noticed that you i can't enter the communities because every block every community of of, of homes is gated so then but I was sort of even now I'm just still like because I haven't asked yet and it's one of those things where I'm gonna have to I know I'm gonna have to ask for a few people because like I went to Starbucks now I, I didn't want to ask that person but normally I would have asked hey I got a question I, I made an observation and I, I saw that majority of the home communities are gated why is that so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to pick it, pick the right people, and I may have to go through a few people to really get an answer. Because again, a lot of people aren't really into that kind of stuff, right? They just go through life, oh, Gates community. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, boom. And even if they do, they don't really understand that. You'd have to really find someone who really understands the reason and the history behind that, and not only the history behind that. What does that uniformity, what does that, what that conformity, conformity um, con contribute to, right? In terms of everyone's everyday life. 
So that's something that I, I'll I'll bring back forward in another uh, video. But um, yeah, so the essence of basically finding an energy is traveling, going through the local roads, taking the the metro, the subway, figuring out okay how are people conforming to you know the mission and then you sort of to figure out the mission okay this is what's happening this is why this is this this is why but you have to also ask questions why is that happening why is this and people will respond again it depends most people won't have an answer for you because it's like why are you asking me such a an odd deep question like i really don't even think about these things so you have to find and you have to gauge who you can ask but again like, like I said before, just ask because other people, they go about their own business in terms of um, exploring their own um, gifts, their talents, okay, and their willingness to, you know, explore. So then we also have to now utilize our gifts, right? But again, do it within reason, don't just, you know, you have to be aware and, and, and conscious of what people are doing and not just interrupt them, right? So... When you go to the, when you when you enter like a super target, you go down, you figure out what's happening. You get Starbucks, you know, say hey, how you doing? You know the response usually. It's like oh okay, uh, I get a nice response again. It's you're not gonna get a huge understanding from just that one, but again, you keep making different connections, different what have you. And then you start to pick things up. And again, it's one of those things that's kind of hard to explain, but it just you just start to pick it up. It just starts to come. So I, 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 I'm I looking forward now to going to a sushi or you can eat sushi spot right now after this. And uh, and I called, you know, to verify that they have all you can eat because some places they only have all you can eat, I guess, during a week or for 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 lunch hours and so forth and so i called them and i said hey do you offer all you can eat and she was very pleasant and i said okay so again this isn't it's just building a story okay i'm not really understanding the picture now but i'm just it's i'm working the frame okay so basically you work in the frame and then from there you build it so again uh you go to different places go to different neighborhoods and you start to just figure things out. But again, it's not going to just come to you. Oh, I know exactly what's happening. And especially if you only have a limited amount of time. I only have, you know, a couple of weeks here. Um, I may not get the full extent of what San Antonio is. However, because I have a wide subconscious lens, I do feel that it's rather small right like i can feel that yes you have nice neighborhoods you have outer city limits but i feel that it's still mm, you know what i'm saying to you i feel that it's still small that that even though you have like it's a weird i don't know how you call it but it's like it's like people have done what they can in order to make it uh, as metro Politan of an area as they can to make it as much of a sur suburban area as you can but if you notice like nowhere land is not too far from the city limits you know what I'm saying to you so you can be in this sort of metro area okay and then 15 miles you're just in like nowhere land you know what I'm saying to you so again it's sort of really small, but people have adapted and, and, and been able to live together, you know. Um, however, there are, uh, there is a lot of crime. And I don't know why that is. It's something, not something that I'm going to be investigating. But, again, doing research, you, you, you pick up on these things, right? But, again, how do you find the mission? You start to just drive around. You start to ask questions. You start to visit different places. And you get a feel for what's happening. Sorry, don't limit yourself to just the nice spots. Go to the, the bad spots, you know. See how people address. See how people are interacting with each other and so forth and so on. And then eventually, you'll get a feel for it. I'll tell you what it is. 
and what people don't really realize. And this is what I call preconditioned blur. A lot of the times, preconditioned means like you have preconditioned notions, but it's a blur because it's like, oh, okay, this is what's going to be, what's going to happen. So it's like when you read in a book, right? You read in a book, and you're just so focused on a book that you're not even worried about, you know, your your drink that you have here or whatever. Now it's not until that you change the chapter or you sort of say, okay, I need to take a break. That's you, okay, you reach over for your cup and you take a sip and you start to realize, okay, what's happening. So it's the same thing with a city. When you move in after a month or two, you're so engaged in, you know, finding work, situating yourself, getting an apartment, right? Uh, finding and navigating your, your, your way around the neighborhood that you're not really focused on the little um, luxuries, right, that you're accustomed to from where you originally came from. And it's not until you fully settle down and say, okay, I'm settled down. Hey, I'm looking for this. I'm looking for that. Oh, wow, they don't have bagels. They don't have this. They don't have that. And that's why when you go online, a lot of people say, oh, there's no New York pizza. There's no New York style bagels. Well, you're in San Antonio or you're in Tampa. Why would you want New York style bagels? You see what I'm saying to you? Like, why would you think or assume that they would have that here but again because people are so accustomed to what they're used to that those are their luxuries those are their go-to things that they've been so like focused on their agenda that they finally put down the book and they say okay let me go ahead and grab a sip and they realize oh wow like it's cold like the tea is cold or, or whatever drink it's, it's just you know the the soda it's it's it doesn't have any um what do you call it again uh forget what you call it but anyway you get the point right and it's getting dark and he started doing his videos in the light <sighs> but yeah so that's basically the gist of it right so um hope i answered your question again it's a process it's a process and it's and it's not just one thing it's like collecting you know your experiences from other cities then come in here and say, oh, okay, that happened in that city. This happened here. Oh, okay, so this is what happens when you have this. Oh, okay, you know, and then it's just you start to pick things up and you start to have, you start to get a better lens. So you start, like, for example, I can be here and I'm trying to visualize what is the river walk? What is Stone Oak? What is all these, you know, South Point? What is the um, San Antonio College area? And you start to visualize, but you get a feel that it's basically the same. That it's nothing more. It's not like a New York, Manhattan versus Queens versus Long Island. Or like a D.C. versus um, Alexandria versus, you know, Springfield, Virginia versus um, Arlington. You know, like it's different. So I'm excited. But again, this is still Texas. And you can still feel that, that Western, that Southwestern vibe, right? It doesn't matter if the folks are white, black, Hispanic, um, which you don't find too many black folks here. But generally speaking, it's like you still feel that, that Southwestern vibe. And the weather is kind of different because, again, in Vegas very dry came down and immediately as i came and i stepped foot in, in san antonio i smelled the air and i could smell dirt i could smell grass i could smell you know life whereas in vegas everything is dry um you don't get that sense and it, it's been raining it rained a few times here and then you can i smell life and it's you start to reminisce about you know, other things and so forth. And you start to now connect the dots and you start to, oh, okay, this reminds me of this or where I was there or I was here. And then you look at the homes and you say, okay, you know, like ever watch a video of a home and you're like, oh, that looks like, the, the design looks like, you know, a home that I used to live in, right? Well, it's, it's the same, you know, you can usually tell, okay, this was in that city or that's in that city. And then so, because again, that conformity, uniformity aspect of things right but anyway it's getting dark so 
Hope I answered you. Hope I answered your question. I'm going to make another video on um, why I don't read comments, um, and there's a reason for that, um, and it plays into um, a YouTuber recently stopping making. Um, he stopped making INFJ videos, right? And uh, it's going to be an interesting video. Okay, when I discuss it. Anyway. Johnny Fontana, Real World, NF Scorpio, we out.